Okay, so I have been unemployed from my actual career since mid-2009. So this is just a little, what's it like to be unemployed or underemployed? And uh, I just kind of feel like some people don't understand it, especially people who are always like, oh, just go get a job, and we used to be an American. Go to work, save your money, put it away, or something like that, some bullshit like that. So, um, yeah, there was something I saw that like that really kind of aggravated me. So, let's see what my career was. I was working at the health department as a microbiologist, um, and then the county made a budget cut and decided that the health department had no need for a laboratory anymore. So the entire lab was disbanded and let go. So I have a degree in microbiology with a concentration in forensic science, a minor in popular music, a minor in chemistry, and a minor in criminal justice. So what I normally do for employment is I am a microbiologist or a cosmetic formulation chemist. Cosmetic formulation chemist means Basically, you see a bottle of lotion, and you ever flip it over, and you read all those ingredients. I'm going to figure out what should be in here, how much of each, how to make it last, how to make it not separate in their container, and how to make something really nice. So those are usually my two professions. So, there's not really too much of a need for either of those. And it's kind of frustrating when you hear people say, oh, just get a job. Really? You know any places that have microbiology hiring or cosmetic formulation chemists hiring? Because there's really not a lot of places hiring right now. And it's just incredibly soul crushing after a while. It is 2013 and since 2009, I actually haven't had a biology job, which is what I went to school for. So now you're going to tell me, oh, just get a retail job, what are you, too good for it? Um, no. But the problem is, when somebody, I don't want to say it like that, but when somebody like me applies for a job like that, they look at your resume and say you're overqualified to work retail. And then they say to you, why are you working, why are you applying to this job? What do you want to say? You're 30 something years old and, gee, my, my lifelong dream has been to be a cashier. So you kind of have to try to figure out how to say it so you want to be employed at whatever retail place you're applying to. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to throw your resume out and not hire you because they know the second the economy turns around, you're going to leave them. You're not like a high school student who needs the job and who doesn't have any other qualifications or anything like that. So it's just, you can't get one, or at least I can't, and it's not just me. Never mind the fact that... If you get one, it's not even going to cover the cost of living. It's minimum wage, which isn't minimum, it's below minimum. And it's not going to cover the cost of my student loan, my car insurance, and all my other adult things that I need to take care of, like rent and utilities. Um, it's just not worth it. Never mind the fact that then that's eight hours a day that I can't be looking for a job taking phone calls, emailing people, trying to get myself legit employment, and scheduling interviews to go to these employment, you know, jobs. So it's just soul crushing. You, I am one of the people who eventually ran out of unemployment, so I literally have zero income. Um, yeah, I have a degree and I have zero income. And it is beyond soul crushing and frustrating. And your wine tends to mush. And your day is pretty much sitting at home because you can't go out because you got no money. Um, it destroys a person. And I'm really frustrated all the time when I hear people who say things like, all those people on unemployment should just get jobs. Where? I mean, you, everyone does know the economy is crashed, right? And not good. They keep saying that jobs are, you know, getting added, but in what sectors? Um, 
really your brain just turns to mush. It's terrible. It's soul crushing. It, it's so soul crushing. Um, it's the, also that terrible catch-22 of do I go back to school and get a PhD to make myself even more specified? I mean, already I'm having trouble because I normally do microbiology and I can't even find a microbiology job, so do I go back and get a PhD and fund myself even further into more student loan debt and a uh, more specialized degree that I can't even do anything with? Uh, it's terrible. I mean, I'm not even temping. I mean, temping is the least employment. You legit have a paycheck coming in. I'm not even that. Um, everyone's like, oh, just go to school and do the right thing. I did. I went to school and I did the right thing. And you know what? It's nothing out there. And I'm not the only one. There's so many people who have degrees and they just don't have work. Um, I mean, that might be wonderful to just tell, like, people to go through, oh, just go out there and get a job as, like, a, I guess something that doesn't need a degree, and that sounds so snotty to say, but it's the truth, and it kind of sucks. Um, I mean, hopefully, see, my brain turns too much, because all I say is, um, I mean, hopefully the economy does pick up soon, but... I mean, you literally can spend all day sending out resumes, and now with electronic resumes, you hit send, and you don't even know if anyone's reading them. They just fall into this black hole of resumes. You don't hear back. You can send out 150 applications a day, and maybe hear back from two a year, if you're lucky. Like, it's really, really frustrating. Um... I have taken my 401 and put it into my checking account, and that is pretty much almost gone. So that sucks. Um, and I'm one of the not what's it called? See, pretty much. I'm not one of the ones that kind of sucks the system. I have the 10% withheld from my unemployment, so I pay my taxes on it. I not out there living beyond my means, buying shit I don't need. And it's just frustrating to hear everyone getting lumped into this group, but it's the way it is. Um, this is not where I thought I would be after I had graduated at all. I would have stayed at my job for 25 years and put in my time. I really would have, but apparently health departments don't need laboratories. So, maybe I'll do more of these and have them better thought out, but it's, oh yeah, and each time I apply to a new job, the salary offer I keep seeing is less and less and less and less than I used to make. Jobs aren't offering what they used to at all. It's just for, I mean, it's not how it used to be. Jobs used to actually pay you what you were worth and pay you something you could live on. And companies actually used to take care of their employees, and now I don't really think they do anymore. And it's kind of sad. And I don't know why everyone's okay with it. So.